everyone. Hello, my name is Sandra Shuri uh, and I'm here today to, see, to teach you how to do a home setup for microsurgery. Uh, I've been teaching for 40 years at Norfolk Park Hospital in, in London and have recently retired and now I actually teach from home. So this is an ideal time to show you how you can set up uh, a home setup. So if I can first show you that you need a chair that you can adjust if possible, just a simple office chair will do to make sure that you're a comfortable height for your microscope. Then you actually need your microscope itself. Doesn't matter what model you want to use, but make sure that you've got your zoom and focus and everything is, is in order there. Um, also this microscope, um, Optimal, has got a camera on it and I can see from the computer what the person is doing when, when they're actually operating. Um, but you won't need that if, you, if you're just setting up and operating on your own. Um, then you will need a suitable base to work on. Here we have a, a cork board just covered in plastic to keep it clean. Then you will need your instruments uh, and, and your sundries. So sundries wise, we've just got a little bowl with some swabs in it. We've got a little container here just with some um, with paper clips and rubber bands for your retra retractors. And then just another little bowl with a piece of background material in it for putting your saline in for irrigation. Also, we have a little syringe here with a Rycroft cannula on the end for irrigation. Then we come to your actual uh, instruments. Uh, what we've got here is a toothed forcep, your scalpel handle, a pair of basic scissors, a pair of needle holders, two pairs of forceps, a pair of micro scissors and then we've got a tiny little pair of vanis scissors for, for really small micro work when you get down to super microsurgery levels. Um, then you will need a clamps of various types. I've got some Ackland clamps here ranging from one up to size three. Um, I prefer to teach using the ones on the frame um, but it's entirely up to you which ones you've got available. And then we've got the clamp applier to, sh to actually apply those onto the vessel. Then you will need a suitable tenno suture and also you may need some little swabs, just some Q-tips will do for when you're dissecting out, um, um, when you're dissecting out your, your chicken. Um, so that's really the basic setup and that's all you need to get you going. Thank you very much.